I've got a uh, HP NV4-1043CL notebook. This is purchased around 2012. It only has a 2.4 gigahertz wireless card in it. And now that wireless 5 gigahertz is out, I think it's worthwhile to upgrade the Wi-Fi card in the laptop. So on Amazon, they have an Intel network card, a 7260 revised card, which should work with more laptops, that will give us the uh, 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz and Bluetooth uh, for about 25 bucks. So I'm going to take this apart and show you how to upgrade the Wi-Fi card in here. So there are 12 screws you have to take out of the laptop in the corners, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I'm going to take them out. You need a small Phillips bit, and I'll come back after I have the screws taken out. Okay, once the screws are out, Turn the laptop upside down towards the back where the hinges are, back here. The red bottom is not going to come off by just peeling it off. So take a credit card, a used one, something that you don't need, and work it in here to get between the bottom. And as you can see, it's not very hard. Once you get it in there, this will come off just fine. The Wi-Fi card is in this corner here. It's this right here. So you're going to have to move this piece of black tape out of the way. And then you need, again, a small Phillips screwdriver. There's two screws here and here that we have to take out. And we also have to pop the antennas off. The antennas are on the inside of the card. Okay, so actually there's one screw to take out. The other one is not installed by HP. Now for the antennas, I recommend using a flat blade instead of a Phillips. So get a flat blade. In this case, I just flip it around on this screwdriver. The card pops up at an angle, you can pull it out. Then you have to pop this antenna off, and they pop off very easily. And now the card is out. So as you can see, the cards are very similar. This is what I just pulled out. They're both from Intel. So you put the card in at an angle, you should hear it snap, fold it down, then using the same screw, screw that down, The antennas should go on relatively easily. Sometimes they can be tricky. It's just potluck. Right, so that went on easily enough. Move this black tape out of the way for the second one. And that one went on easily. And that's it. So at this point it's up to you if you want to put the lid the bottom back on before we fire it up and see if Windows is going to detect it automatically and install drivers or if we're going to have to go to the Intel site and manually find a driver. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to put the bottom on but not screw it down. All right, I turned on the notebook and we're going to see if Windows will auto detect the driver or not.
Okay, so it seems to be seeing the networks with the new card with no additional drivers to be installed. And we are connected. Okay, so running the AT&T speed test on the 5 gigahertz network, I'm getting about 307 meg down. And 295 up. So that's a pretty nice upgrade. For 25 hours, you can improve your speed. Also, this is a Windows 10 system, so that probably helped with why the drivers did not need to be updated. If you're running something else, you, you might need to manually get the drivers. Okay, so after I had the 7260 card in my HP Envy 4, the Wi-Fi was working fine, but the Bluetooth... The device manager said the device was working fine, but the Bluetooth was not able to pair with anything. No specific error messages. He would try to pair it, which just would not pair, and go back to the Bluetooth menu. So doing some Googling, I found that you have to block a couple of the connectors on the Wi-Fi card for this to work correctly. The Bluetooth is going to be this last pin here. You have to put a piece of tape over it. That's called pin 51. And then on the back side of the card, you have to do pin 20. Pin 20 is in the middle of these three connectors right here. You'd have to put a piece of tape over that one. That apparently is going to allow the wireless card to work correctly. I have not done this yet, so we're going to do this now. They recommend electrical tape uh, on these connectors, so I have some red electrical tape that I'm going to use. Black is normally what you use, but I just had a, a roll of red laying around. So I'm going to try this out, and I'll come back and tell you if it works okay. Okay, so this is what it looks like blocking pin 51. It's just red electrical tape that I used. And uh, it's easy with pin 51 because you can put it on the edge of the card. There's a blank space there. So the tape can be a little bit wider, which helps it stick better. Doing the other side of the card for the Wi-Fi, if it doesn't work, I think is more difficult because it's going to be in the middle. I'm not going to bother with the other pin since my Wi-Fi is working. I'm just interested in getting the Bluetooth going. Okay, so adding the tape to pin 51 on the card fixed the problem. Now when I add a device it's showing me Bluetooth devices within range of the laptop. I never got this far before I added the tape. You're gonna need a, an X-Acto blade or some sort of a fine knife something like this to cut the tape. It's got to be a really narrow piece of tape that you're going to be putting down on this card because you can't block any of the other uh, connectors on it. In my case, my Wi-Fi is working, so I didn't feel like blocking the other pin. I can also disable my Wi-Fi from the laptop using the, uh, the function 12 key. It does shut the Wi-Fi off. Uh, people were saying on Google, when I was looking for solutions, that you have to use pin 20 if your Wi-Fi is not working correctly. But on the HP Envy 4, it is.